Okay guys, I'm back and I'm going to be doing the unboxing of the Magical Dogs Tarot. So this is the box that it comes in and I already took off the plastic and it's got a little moon in there. And it's got this red string, kind of looks more burgundy. The book looks huge, like the companion book. It's really thick. It's got a lot of insights, it looks like. Um, a good amount of explanations for each card. It's got some beautiful imagery. And it's all in black and white, which is fine with me. So there we go. And I believe that is, how many pages? 205. 206 if you count the very back page. So then this is what it looks like inside it's got the little puppy super cute so i'm gonna put that aside and then i'm gonna open up this try to do it with one hand hold on it guys i'm gonna put you right here so i love my new tapestry i talk about it almost every video now um, my sister-in-law gave it to me i'm in love with it and I was looking at tapestries for myself and I just couldn't find the right one. And then I got that one and I'm like, perfect. It goes beautifully in the room and it just matches my aesthetic, which is a lot of black, white, and purple in this room. So I'm glad she picked that out. So I'm trying to get this open without using my teeth trying to use this um, pen here, but I don't want to, you know, get it on the cards when I'm trying to open it, so I'm trying to be careful. So that is what I'm trying to do. But um, so the reason why I got all these decks is because I have had quite an adventure with my collection, and there was a lot that I wasn't using, so I got rid of them, and then I, would, I haven't bought a deck in a while, and I'm like, well, I better invest this year in my business because I haven't really done that part of my investing with my decks because I'm more of a clairvoyant and clairaudient, so I don't really need the decks. But I know my clients really like different decks and it's good imagery for them to connect to what I'm saying. So that's why I decided to go ahead and take that, you know, investment and do that and I'm glad I did so it gives me new decks to work with because some of my clients are returning clients and so they get weekly sometimes monthly readings and healings so we're starting with the full and again I really love it it's so cute and I'm sorry you can see my ring light through these I'll try to scoot it over but it's on a thinner side, but I'm okay with that because it'll be easier to shuffle. And it does have like a glossy finish to it. And I really like this one. This one's super cute. And okay, so I'm going to flip it over this way. So that way I can keep them kind of in order for now. And the High Priestess is pretty. And I do like the necklaces. And it does have a Native American Egyptian vibe to it, which I really like as well. So I really think these are pretty. I like that you can read these very intuitively and very much with every sense that you have, you know. I don't feel like you necessarily need to be studying tarot for very long to use this deck, in my opinion, just because of the artwork and the symbology and... Um, the symbolism in it is just really beautiful and I like the Egyptian right here, the, the death card, I really enjoy. Um, I just really like that. This one's another one that I love it. It reminds me of my grandma because um, before she passed away, she kept seeing a little white dog and I thought that was so cute. So it reminds me of her. And the tarot, the tarot and I believe it's the 10 of swords if i'm not mistaken that's the two that i'm like oh 
you know, it really hits hard empathically to look at these cards. Um, but they're really pretty. That one's gorgeous. I love it. And I like how it has a lot of the spirit energy into it as well, just not the elements of each suit. It does have the moon phases in here. It has the seasons. It has spirit animals. Because sometimes you can see spirit in here. The soul of the dog. Of course, I love this one because of the ravens, crows. This one, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, as an empath, I'm like, oh no. You know? But they're really pretty. Um, I guess the one thing that I'm kind of, I'm going to have to use the guidebook for is because I understand why this person or these people that made this deck, the artist and the creator, why they put the alpha male, alpha female. I get it, but I don't know. And I, and I know what it is standing for in the traditional tarot, but I want to read why they done that, you know, why they named it that and what it means for them. So that's going to be something new I hopefully will learn reading the guidebook. But I don't feel like it's something I need to do before doing readings, like I said, because of just everything going on here. You can really pick up empathically what's trying to be spoken about here, what the vibe is, what you know the reading is about when you pull it. And again, I just think they're so cute. I want to get the cat tarot. I believe it's a cat tarot or the cat oracle sometime. But I have a, ch a chihuahua. And so, you know, I'm a lo dog lover. And so I really thought this would be appropriate for me to work with this deck with my familiar. And I do have clients that, you know, have animals, you know, for babies that want readings as well. So I figured this would be perfect. <laughs> that one's funny. I thought that was cute. your guys's opinion do you like are you, if you're a tarot reader or a tarot enthusiast or however you want to say it or someone that's interested in getting to know and work with tarot do you like the different decks and the different imagery or are you more the writer weight lover because i don't think i've ever had a traditional writer weight deck and you know there's a couple reasons for that i some of them i some of the reprints I guess you could say I kind of connect with but I just feel like I'm more of the new style and plus I never learned with the Rider Waite you know I learned with the Easy Tarot which is similar to the Rider Waite but it wasn't completely Rider Waite so that's why I prefer different varieties but I wanted to get your guys' opinion on this deck do you like it if you had, you know, furry babies, would you use it? If you're a tarot reader, would you allow a tarot reader that you trust to use these for your animals? Just want your opinion. And I hope to see you in the next one. Many blessings.